Hello, my lovely people. You're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and according to the time you have seen this video. How are you doing? I hope you are fine. We are still on the dish from the palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. My God will continue to bless you. So, according to what we have been hearing, you know, mm -hmm, uh, the alleged information reaching us right now is that Olori Ashley have finally confessed about what she did to Queen Naomi that made Queen Naomi to leave the palace of the Lefe Kingdom. You people know that uh, we have been saying that it is Ashley. Ashley is the major contributor. That is, she contributes more why Queen Naomi left the palace. Some people have some people that did not like Queen Naomi have been saying that uh, Queen Naomi is she good that she cannot come back to the palace. Uh, she's a queen. She's this. She's that. Anyway, in this life, there mo you must have enemy. If you don't have enemy, that means uh, you are not even God yourself have enemy. So if you are, if you don't have enemy, you are not going to grow. You must have friends that will love you, and you must also have enemies that hate you. But one thing for sure is that if God is with you, their hatred cannot stop you from progressing. As Ashley's hatred upon Queen Nomi did not stop uh, Queen Nomi from progressing, and the same way with every other person. So, my people, according to what we are hearing, we all, we all know that Queen Nomi left the palace the day uh, he's, she's supposed to go out with Oni of Ife. According to what we heard, we heard that there was this program that Oni of Ife. He's supposed to go with Ashley, not Ashley, Queen Naomi. And then Ashley have started doing the work of priestess in the palace. And you know, being the priestess that she is, that uh, she'll be going to occasions, some occasions with Oni of Yufe. So, but in that particular event, Oni of Yufe asked Ashley to go and uh, fetch Queen Nomi. They they have told only uh, if I have told Queen Nomi already, maybe like a week or two before the occasion. And Queen Nomi will have been preparing the day that they will go for that occasion. No? According to what we heard allegedly, we heard that Queen Nomi and not exactly that day, before the before that day, Queen Nomi and Ashley and Queen Nomi's mother they have an altercation. So it happened that it was this the same Ashley that Oni of Ife told to go and fetch Queen Naomi so that they would leave for the event. According to what we heard though, uh, Ashley came back and told Oni of Ife that she said that she's not going. Mm -hmm. And Oni of Ife got angry and left with Ashley. So after everything, when that, that was the particular day that Queen Naomi went to her. Instagram handle and posted that she's a bride waiting to be dressed, that she's no longer interested in Onyo Fife. And that got Onyo Fife upset because Onyo Fife wasn't even around when all these things were happening. We heard that he went for a program. So, later, later, I know now, Kunomi and Onyo Fife must make up because they are still husband and wife. So, after they reconcile, and Onyo was like, Why did you disappoint me that way? And Kunomi was like, I came out to go out with you, to go on uh, on event with you. I couldn't find you. You went out with Ashley. That means you are started marrying Ashley. That was when Kunomi now knew that Ashley had been eyeing Oni of Ife. Because she's not just doing the work of priestess, uh, priestess that she is. She's also doing the work of second wife. Because according to what we heard that uh, then, in that theological festival, Okay, not a lot of festival. There was a program they went then. Kunomi was somehow sitting somehow that even she's not accept, fully accepted in that program. And Ashley was, you know, parading herself as as the wife of Oni of Ife, why she's not yet wife then. So that was when people started to think that this this woman, this woman. And sometimes Ashley would sit in the front car of Oni of Ife. And that was when we started uh, knowing that something is happening or something is about to happen. 
So later, later, when Yoshifa was like, uh, he called Ashley and was asking Ashley, why did you say that Kunomi said that she's not going? Uh, Ashley now turned to say that it is one of the maiden that she sent to fetch Kunomi, told her that uh, Kunomi said that she's not going. And the Yoshifa was like, who is that maiden? And the Ashley mentioned the name of a maiden that was no, that is no longer in the palace. They actually now called that same particular person and asked her, "Why did you say that Queen Nomi said that she's not going to a party, a, a program? Uh, they have scheduled to go for how many weeks ago?" The the woman, I be the lady, said that she did not see uh, Queen Nomi that day or even Ashley. And only if you now turn back to Ashley, why did you say that it is the same maiden? And Ashley was like. The woman will say the, the maiden will say that she's she did not see Ashley. Ashley will say that she's the one that she told her that Kunomi said that she's not going. And you know if it was like surprised. Why why is Ashley like this? Because there is no how the maiden will say that she did not see maiden. Uh, she did not see Ashley. And Ashley will say that she's the person that told her that Kunomi said that she's not going. It's just because of that particular uh, uh, altercation that Ashley have with uh, Kunomi. That made her to say so that Kunomi said that she's not going just to wicked or punish Kunomi, you see. And the letter, letter, Onyefe was like, "You are going to tell Kunomi sorry for doing this," and actually have been carrying her shoulder up that she's not going to say uh, tell Kunomi sorry that it is not her fault that it is is the maiden that said that Kunomi is not going, not her. And then that was when Onyefe first hatred. Started from, uh, started on uh, Ashley because initially they said that whenever Ashley will come back from wherever she's staying, I, think, I thought uh, it's like they said that she's staying in UK. Whenever she will come back to to the palace, only if people will take her around the whole place, you know, celebrate her after marrying her. And then after that incident, only if she hated Ashley. But I've been telling Ashley to come and uh, f ask for forgiveness, as in plead with Queen Nomi to forgive her. But Ashley have been keeping, uh, maybe carrying herself, her shoulder up, that's pride. But finally, finally, they, we said that we heard that Ashley have finally decided to beg Queen Nomi to ask her to forgive her, that she really know that she offended her. Of course, she offended her. Hmm? Anyway, we know that Queen Nomi is going to forgive. But thank God that she finally agreed that why Queen Nomi went to her in, uh, Instagram handle and wrote that she's a bride waiting to be dreaded, that she's no longer interested in Onyo Fife. At least everybody will, know, will now know that it is Ashley's fault, not that Queen Nomi just decided to write that. Because people have been saying that Queen Nomi insulted the king, Queen Nomi did this to the king, but they forgot that it is Ashley that caused everything. And people know that Queen Nomi is just a small girl. Anyway, sure, that is it.